everybody. No. Hey out there to anyone who's listening. It's me and I have a name that I can't think of right now. Oh my god. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Start over. Hey out there to anyone who's listening. It's me, Tamara, and today is May 7th, I think. It's a Thursday. I don't have to work today, so I'm taking the opportunity to do whatever the hell I want to do, which is what I usually do on my days off. Look at it outside. It is so freaking beautiful out there. Like, look at this. It's a gorgeous day outside, and I want to be outside hanging out with my dog. But, like, look at, look at all this laundry shit. La That's a dog toy. Laundry dog toy dog on my bed what are we gonna do buddy can we like clean up super fast and then go outside you want to do that you want to do that okay let's go I usually use uh, rice milk on my protein shakes, or in them, not on them. But uh, we don't have any rice milk right now, so I just use water, which is kind of gross, but don't care because I don't feel like eating food, so yay! Delicious. Okay, so I gotta admit, I'm definitely one of those people that, given the opportunity, I will change my clothes like a thousand times in one day. I don't know, that shirt I had on before, it was okay, it was comfortable, and I had on some shorts, but I don't know, I went outside and I walked the dog and I just wasn't feeling it. So I came back and I put on some jeans, and I rolled them at the cuff, and I saw my sandals on, because I don't change my shoes, I just change my clothes, and I put on this striped shirt thing. I don't know, whatever. Just saying. I finished cleaning my room. Um, still kind of dirty out here, to be honest, but I want to go outside now. It's like one o'clock and I don't feel like doing this all day. So I'm going to eat this sandwich and then we're going to go outside. I guess Merlin, well, he was eating his food too, but I guess not anymore. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. We're going to eat and then we're going to go. We're going to go play. Sounds like fun. Yay! My dad had called me, so we were just talking about family and stuff. So we weren't even playing. We weren't even playing. And now we've been running for like two point something seconds and we're both tired. It's a, ew. It's a sign. We're out of shape, Merlin. We're out of shape. 
Come on. Oh, he's facing the wind. Feels good. It is hot as balls out here. Stop coughing. That's nasty. Just nasty. This kind of feels like I'm shooting a porn, and I don't really know how I feel about that. I don't know. I think it would be interesting to be in a porn, but that is irrelevant because it is. It was hot outside. If I had to guess based on like how hot I feel right now, it's probably like 82 or 83 degrees outside. Like my neighborhood pool, like the pool in the center of the complex is open and I am tempted to put on my bathing suit right shmeow and go jump in that pool. I might not even put my bathing suit on. I might just jump in in my underwear because I'm like that level hot right now. Ta-da, changed my clothes again, yay. At first I really was gonna go to the pool because it's hot as crap outside and that just sounded like a fun idea. But to be honest, after running around outside, um, I'm kinda tired and I don't feel like swimming laps or anything. So no. So I showered and changed my clothes for like the millionth time. And now I'm going to watch a movie. And I was thinking about watching Star Wars, right? because I'm a nerd and I love Star Wars. But every time I want a marathon, I can never decide if I want to watch the prequels or not. Most of the time I don't because I watch the first two and then I get to the third one and I'm just like, this movie is so fucking depressing and I don't want to watch it. So then I skip it and watch the like original series. But then, you know, most of the time, like the other parts of the time when I'm not watching the prequels, obviously I just watch the original series because it's like way better. I don't know. I'm one of those people. Han Solo shot first. That's all I'm saying. This is episode six. I don't know. That's not where you start. You started episode five. Yeah. Look at that fucking haircut. Look at all their haircuts. Oh my God. Luke. You don't even know. So many things in store for you, my friend, including a better haircut. I always think it's kind of fucked up that as soon as he leaves here and like his aunt and uncle, the people who raised him from birth, he finds out they're dead and then he just leaves the planet and never talks about them ever, ever again. Like how effed up is that? Like legit. He's more upset that this man that he just met maybe like four days ago is dead. He knew his aunt and uncle since birth and he seems more distraught by the death of a stranger. I just, I don't understand. Like, that's so fucked up. How? How is that even, like, look at his face. Look. Luke, you're a jerk. Actually... I was just thinking about it and this is probably the same day because at first I was thinking like space travel probably takes a couple of days but then I'm like well okay if it did take a couple of days Han Solo would still have clothes like had changed his clothes because he lives on this ship it's his ship so he would have like some stuff to change into um, but he's still in the same outfit as when they first contracted with him so that means that all of this happened in one day, which means that his aunt and uncle literally just died like this morning and he seems more distraught by the death of a stranger he just met this morning than he did by his aunt and uncle who raised him since birth. I just like, I cannot get over how much of an asshole Luke Skywalker is. Like, asshole. You ass. It's not truly a movie night if I'm not painting my nails. Let's go. I'm texting my mom to see what she wants for dinner because I'm hungry as hell. And if she's trying to go out, then that means I'm gonna have to put a bra on. So she might want to tell me now or forever hold her peace. Just saying. Mom and I are back from getting something to eat. Uh, we went to this restaurant called yard house i think is what it's called um they just built one in my neighborhood it's really good food there so if you have one in your neighborhood and you haven't tried it 
definitely go check it out because it's a it's a great place to eat. It's a little expensive. It's sort of I wouldn't say Cheesecake Factory prices, but somewhere in between like Red Robin and Cheesecake Factory. After that, we went to uh, Brewster's, which is another like I'm pretty sure Brewster's is a chain ice cream place, but we didn't have one where um, where I lived, so I'm not really sure how popular they are, but. Again, Brewster's is the bomb.com. You can get ice cream in a pint, which I totally did. It's Oreo and I'm gonna eat all of this right now. Also, I'm probably gonna be on Tumblr. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so Merlin has these like dog treats, right? These little green ones that are shaped like bones. And um, we used to have this routine where I would like brush him and then after I brushed him, I would give him a dog treat. But, uh, ever since I decided to keep his hair short, I don't have to, like, brush and comb through him all the time anymore. So, uh, he still remembers getting a treat every night. So now I just have to give him one. Or else he will literally cry himself to sleep. And it is pathetic. And get off. Lay down. Good boy. Off. boy Go ahead. anyway he's a pathetic mess and I just thought I'd let you guys see that well anyway it's like midnight and a half so um Marilyn keeps looking at me all stupid because I keep talking and I should probably go to sleep now because I just should I've had a long day full of doing absolutely nothing and I'm still having a day off again tomorrow so I'm going to do it again tomorrow. Yay! Today was good. I think I fulfilled my purpose in life by doing absolutely nothing all day. It was awesome. Um, yeah, okay. Well, it's been real. Love you, mean it.